So I got back from California night before last and I was so looking forward to getting home and getting back to a schedule. Um, California was beautiful, the weather was gorgeous, uh, but it was hard because we stayed with relatives so homemade meals were being made uh, every meal and um, it was hard to you know keep with my food I felt like I was being insulting doing my own thing um, and I had to go to the gym every day up there which was hard um, but I did it and I actually came back home stepped on the scale and actually lost like a half pound so I don't think that that's ever happened in the history of vacationing for me so uh, I was really excited about that um, and I switched uh, my diet this past week so for the last like I think eight days now uh, I've been on a keto diet which is a lot less carbs um, when I was already having not that many to start but um, a lot less carbs and a lot higher fat so uh, the fats make up about 30 35 percent of my diet uh, if you're doing macros um, and uh, my body seems to be responding really well. So I only lost a half pound, but this week, um, huge difference. I'll show you guys progress photos, but huge difference in my physique. Um, I can actually kind of see my hamstring tie-ins now. Uh, my butt has changed shape. I'm actually getting the little side glute dent um, that I saw after, it's like my favorite thing. <laughs> um, more definition in my uh, abdomen and my obliques, same in my arms. Like, I've just noticed a huge difference this last week and it's really added fuel to the fire. Like, okay, we're getting somewhere. Because um, until I get to this point, it's really hard, you know, um, to stay motivated for me anyway. And uh, yesterday I went and checked in with my coach and had an impromptu posing session with three girls. Um, <laughs> that are going to nationals this week. Uh, they actually did a national show, it plays very well. And one of the girls actually is a pro and she was there uh, just, you know, fine tuning her uh, posing for her first pro show. And my coach is like, Jen, go get on your suit, come out here. And I'm like, I don't wanna do it. So I like kept taking my time on my workout and he'd be like, what's taking you so long? I'm like, oh, I still have abs to do, I still have whatever. And anyway, I ended up having to go change and come out there and I was like, great, this is gonna be fun. And um, you know what, it was, and I'm glad I went out there. Um, yes, uh, my physique was not at the same level as theirs, but it, it shouldn't be, I'm eight weeks out, and here they are on peak week. But I felt like I could hang, and um, I felt like looking at them that their physique wasn't something that I can't obtain or get to. I didn't feel like I was that far off. So that was really, um, a nice confidence boost for me and it made me feel very good and I actually wasn't shaky and I did my routine and I was fine uh, which if you watch my last video that's all I talked about is how nervous I was and how uncomfortable I felt so for me to be out there with a lot more attention where it was just four of us girls um, that made me feel really good so I don't know I just you know I feel um, ready to go uh, however it is Arizona and it is hot. So coming back from California, yes, I've lived here my whole life and yes, I'm acclimated, but acclimation is crap. Once you've been in nice weather, our body just comes back to 110, 120 degree heat and it's like, what the heck are you doing? You know, we're not made for this weather. So I stepped out of the car and it just hit me like a wave and I instantly was cranky and depressed and felt lethargic and didn't want to do anything. And that's the way it is um, during this time of the year here. And um, I, you don't want to do anything. And even going to the store takes everything you have because even if your car's in the garage, it's gonna be 15, 20 minutes before it cools down to wherever you're going. And it just, it sucks the life out of you. So you just want to sit on the couch and not do anything. And it's 83 degrees in my house, which sounds disgusting, I know, but it actually feels quite cool when it's 125 degrees outside. So here it is 40 degrees cooler. You're cooling your house 40 degrees. Um, so we imagine the electric bill on that. We have a 3,000 square foot home and it's a two story. Never buy a two story. You live somewhere like Phoenix and the AC is going to be running through the night. Um, for those of you that aren't Phoenicians, um, you walk out at 1030 at night, we walked out 1030 the other night because it was raining and it was beautiful so before we went to bed we walked out there. It was disgusting, 
the temperature on my patio at 10.30 at night was 108 degrees while it was raining. So there is no relief. Um, and our electric bill is six to $800 in the summer to cool it to 85 degrees. So I'm just saying, like, there's no escaping the heat. Um, but anyway, going off on that a little bit. So here at the gym, I'm gonna do a shoulder workout. I'm feeling the pressure. I'm only two months out and from my injury, as I've told you guys before, I can't really work my shoulders the way that I'd like to. So because of that, um, I'm working them at least twice a week so I can hopefully at least maintain uh, what I have and not lose that even though I know I can't really build up because I'm not able to put a lot of weight behind the exercises that I'm doing. So um, I'm gonna take you guys through that today um, and we'll see you in there. <laughs> 